Welcome to yet another fabulous Saturday night news and nonsense. How you doing, Toss? Come fly with me, come spy. Oh, wait, that's you. <laughs> Are you still on that NSA kick? Well, you know, I am broadcasting from a safe house. That was the deal I did, not to spill any secrets. Boy, I tell you, I got a raw deal. What's uh, up? <laughs> Microsoft is about ready to give the Skype API the axe. If you recently fired up Skype, you may have noticed a dialog box with a warning up here briefly, or at least on OS X, and then vanish. If you're fast enough to catch it, you'll find it's a warning that some applications you're using that works with Skype will stop working in December 2013. This applies to all sorts of software supporting headsets, cameras, you name it. I did not hear about that one. Really? Yeah. Uh, this is coming from uh, Network World News. And, uh, yeah, apparently um, they're going to be, well, you know, uh, at least we'll stop using Skype. We'll switch to something else that's free and open source. And then uh, we won't have to worry about Microsoft uh, recording all of our calls. I'm going to take a quick poll. I mean, there's, we, there's three guests here, here, here in the studio room. A quick poll to Charlie, Matthew, and Quids up. Do all of you use Skype? No. Nope. I have it installed, but I can't remember the last time I used it. Yeah, same oh, here. Same. I have it. I have mine installed, but I never use it. Okay, well, I use it occasionally. So my question is, is there a good alternative to Skype? Uh, there is one called Linphone that uh, you can get from your software repositories. And I think there are some other ones, too, but I don't know what they're called right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I use Skype. Uh, I have no problem using it now, of course, if things were to change. And I may have to look into an alternative battery. But I did not, did not know about that one. Uh, I got some news. Once again, we have battery. We have news about smartwatch. I guess Google is going to jump into the game with some. I don't know why all the excitement <laughs> about. Uh, well, Here we go uh, with uh, the smartwatches again. <laughs> all right. Let me just say this. I will buy two smartwatches, one from Microsoft and one from someone in Linux, if and only if the Microsoft watch will stop all spyware in the world. And I will buy a Linux. I will buy a Linux smartwatch if it'll stop all bugs in the world. That's when I will buy two smartwatches. Until then, I will stick with my smartphone. There you go. All right. Well, um, it appears that with Android 4.4 KitKat, Google's biggest blow to Microsoft isn't against Windows Phone. It's against Microsoft Office. You see, KitKat ships with QuickOffice, letting you edit Microsoft Office documents, spreadsheets, and presentations on the go without paying a dime straight out of the box. This tidbit was largely lost in the news uh, given a large number of improvements and features that KitKat offers. Yet it's a very big deal. Every Android user that upgrades to KitKat will get Google's Quick Office and every new Android device starting with the Nexus 5 that ships with KitKat or higher will get access to Quick Office. I love my Android phone, don't you? Absolutely. I can't wait to download KitKat. Uh, just so <laughs> I just think this is funny stuff in the news here. Uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between Microsoft and uh, Google Android. Yeah, KitKat. Now, where's my Hershey bar? Well, this is making me... Michael, where's my... My son took my Hershey bar. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I'm just joking. Michael's like, ha ha. Uh, Spatry, you live in Florida, right? Absolutely. And it's still hot still down here. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I, I did not know this, but in Opalaka, which I'm not sure if that's near you or not. That's in Miami. Okay. Apparently, there is a law authorizing police to ticket men wearing saggy pants. And this law will be extended to women, men and women, who wear their pants too low, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, they should make that a federal law. I don't know where this uh, <laughs> craze started. It's got to be one of the most, how should I, disgusting things of wardrobe I have ever seen in my life. All right. Uh, well, uh, another legal battle between tech titans is brewing. The winners of the Nortel patent bidding war, Microsoft, Apple, and others, 
have filed a batch of lawsuits against Google and several Android smartphone manufacturers charging infringement of a number of those patents. Though a good deal of money may change hands, this will be a road bump in the smartphone wars, said IP attorney Peter Torin. A consortium of technical or technology companies is suing Google and Android manufacturers in first patent lawsuits after it outbid the search giant for thousands of patents previously owned by Nortel. So apparently, uh, yeah, Google was trying to buy these patents and they got outbid for them. And so now they're going to use this as ammunition to try and uh, crush Android. You always pick these depressing patent stories. I don't know what it, what it is with you and patents. Okay, well, uh, I suppose I could move on to something about, uh, about uh, something along a happier note, I suppose. Okay, please do. Okay, Ubuntu is no stranger to awards and accolades, but the latest trophy to be gifted to the open source project is one that is unlikely to go on display. Canonical's decision to add Amazon product suggestions to the Unity desktop has uh, ha, has seen the company presented with a, quote, Big Brother Award in Austria. The controversial feature, which uses uh, local search terms to fetch relevant products results from the web, was announced as a winner of the uncoveted prize at a ceremony in, Aus in the uh, Austrian capital, Vienna, on Friday, October 25th. Big, the Big Brother Awards held annually since 1999 hands out gongs to governments, companies, persons, and projects deemed to have, quote, done the most to invade personal privacy. Isn't uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger from Austria? He is. Maybe he should be giving them the award. <laughs> I will terminate all spies. Goodbye. <laughs> I mean, it's that was actually what pretty good. Know? What? Say again? That actually sounded pretty good. I just sounded like Arnold. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now, where's my cup of Spatry's cup of Linux? <laughs> Oh, goodness. What you got, Toss? All right. Well, final nonsense. I came across this the other day, and uh, I know we sometimes talk in Russian, our Russian, you know, comrades and stuff like that. But this is true. Apparently, Spatry, a Russian uh, farmer, a Russian shepherd, uh, I guess he was out on the farm or whatever, got attacked by a Russian bear. Now, normally, they say, you know, if, if, if a bear comes towards you, I believe the appropriate uh, thing to do is play dead. Yes? Uh, I believe so, yes. But no, this dude decided to put up a fight. He, uh, according to the news article, and, that, and I wish I would have saved it, but he kicked the bear re repeatedly and doing headbutts. Now, how exactly do you headbutt a bear? I have no idea. Very carefully, of course. Uh, <laughs> The story goes, I, I guess, I, I'm thinking, well, that's it. This bear's going to have some dinner. But no, I guess the bear, I guess, was so stunned that the bear picked up this dude and it tossed him off a cliff. But wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm not done here. This guy survives with a few broken uh, ribs and what, you know, and he's fine. But wait, wait, wait. He's like 80 years old. And I'm thinking, why? Do you want to fight a bear? <laughs> I have a vision, Spatchy, of this guy after he gets tossed off the cliff, brushing himself off, you know, himself off, looking up at the bear and saying, Yo, what's up? Come on and fight, you little pussy cat. Come on, what's up? <laughs> More nonsense Unusual. news. Guess what? Edward Snowden's got a new job. You know what that is? Uh oh. He's working in tech he's working in tech support for a major Russian website, according to his lawyer. Surprise! Yep, government whistleblower Edward Snowden exiled in Russia after releasing top secret documents about National Security Agency surveillance activities to the press as a new job. Technical support. Now, I wonder if he's going to be leaking any information about that website. Uh, I have to leave now because my safe house visiting hours are over. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's all I have. That's all I've got, too. Take us out, Toss. Well, thank you for another Center Report here in the uh, listening room on the Linux Distro community. Thank you to the guest in the studio room who took the time to listen to us. And, uh, Spatry, we will catch all of them, hopefully, sometime in the future. Say goodbye, Spatry. Goodbye, Spatry. Ciao.